from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, and I won't have it. Is that clear? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. I want to talk about the pets. I want to talk about the fact that there are women out there who love their pets more than they love their boyfriends, husbands, or anybody they might date. And I don't get it. Ever been with one of these chicks? You know the ones I'm talking about. First of all, the cat ladies, these are the women. They, For some reason, I, I think they want to wear cat hair all the time. Have you ever noticed women who are into cats also wear sweaters that are covered in cat hair and that faintly smell like cat pee? Because they uh, they soak it up like a sponge. Just that, that odor, the aroma. You know, ladies, don't kid yourselves. I know you think your cat is as clean as a whistle. But every time I see a cat lady, I can tell at 50 paces that you are a cat lady. Yeah. And speaking of which, when I approach a woman's apartment, I know it's coming. They all love to tell you how clean the cat is. And I can smell that litter box a mile away. And then, by the way, ladies, as clean as you say that Fluffy is, no trouble at all. When I uh, excuse myself to uh, get relief in your bathroom, the treads on my uh, tennis shoes get filled up with uh, uh, little chunks of used cat litter, which later end up uh, scratching my wood floor at home. Because they're still stuck there when I get out. Uh, that's one thing that drives me crazy. The other is when you let the animals in bed with you. I don't get it. And I have known women who have broken up with guys over this. Like, if you don't like the dog in the bed, well, you can just go. If you don't like the cats in bed, you can just get out of here. Holy cow. You know, I I have known more than one woman. I'm not going to name anybody in particular, but I'm sure there's some of them out there who know who they are and they know who I'm talking about. There's some of you out there with dogs who will never, ever find a man. Never. There are some women who I am convinced are barren. <laughs> they would love to have children. They would love to have a man in their life, and they can't figure out why they can't meet the right guy. So they fill up their empty lives with dogs and cats. And by the way, how many, this is a relatively, and when I say relatively new, last five years, it's become an epidemic. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a phenomenon of recent times. How many women not only have multiple dogs or multiple cats or both, but on top of that, they are rescued animals. They came from animal shelters. And in some cases, they uh, were abused, you know, beaten by their owners. That's tragic. And I, I, I love animals. Don't get me wrong. I really do, especially dogs. I love dogs. But um, there's now this trend on for women to go to the pound and pick up the abused animals, where there are these animal rescue organizations. And these animals have various dysfunctions from having been mistreated. Like, for example, they can't tell the difference between a fire hydrant and your furniture. One person uh, who I was not dating, she was a friend of someone who I was dating, uh, brought one of her rescued animals into my home, who proceeded, you know, Lincoln Logs had nothing on what was left on the carpet in front of my front door. It looked like she was uh, dispensing uh, frozen dessert, you know, like at the Dairy Queen. There was this, this, <laughs> there was a mound. It was absolutely huge left by my front door. 
And did the owner uh, rush around, you know, try, do you have a sponge? Do you, let me get some Lysol and clean that up. Oh, no, no, no. The only response was, well, oh, you know, well, she was abused and she just does that. You know, she just does that. Dog just marked its territory and left this huge delivery by my front door. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I don't get it. And I have known women who have up to, up to six animals. And the animals all end up sleeping in bed with the chick. And these women have amazing ways of handling this. Like if you come over and you uh, want to do a little boning. Like the, uh, oh, maybe the animals will be out of the bed for the boning. But ultimately, they all are going to gather there when it's all done. One woman I was with one time, I was... Uh, I was uh, I was at it going at it missionary style, and my feet. Now you have to picture this, okay? My feet are upside down, hanging off the end of the mattress, and then her cat, which of course it would be cruel to declaw, so she of course did not declaw the animal. Uh, the cat saw my feet bouncing up and down on the bed as I was uh, getting the job done, and proceeded to start clawing at my feet because it was kind of like when you hang a, like a ball on a string in front of a cat or, you know, a cat sees a metronome and starts taking a swipe at it. The cat saw my feet moving around and started clawing them. And, of course, I was in mid-thrust, so I wasn't going to stop when I was done, literally, and I'm not making this up. Literally, my feet were bloody messes, both of them, clawed to death. And, and she thought that was cute. She thought that was cute. I had one woman one time who, um, you know, I said, I, I don't like cats. And in fact, I'm allergic to cats. And in fact, if you're going to move in with me, I don't want a cat moving in with me. Because cats will scratch up my furniture and hang off my curtains and everything will look terrible and I don't like it. It is the reason I don't own a cat. I don't like the mess. I don't like their treatment of my property. I don't like it. And she said, oh no, Fluffy's not like that. Uh, come on, I do. we should give it a try. So this woman moves into my place before I knew better. Moves into my place with her cat Fluffy and one day I walk into the living room and Fluffy is hanging from the, 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 the living room drapes. Literally in mid-drape, like climbing up like Spider-Man, climbing up the drapes. Leaving behind a trail of loose threads. All these threads were just pulled out. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Freak me out. So now, of course, now that I've allowed her to move in with Fluffy, now I'm an even bigger villain because I say she's got to go. <laughs> Fluffy has got to go. And I made her give her cat away. And you know what? She never forgave me for it. No matter how long our relationship went on, it, 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 she, this was brought up. It was thrown in my face over and over and over again. You made me get rid of Fluffy. I moved in with you, and Fluffy was my only friend in the world, and then you made me get rid of her. It's, it's just amazing to me how many women would choose animals over people, but at the same time, they can't figure out why they can't meet the man of their dreams. As in the classified ads or the Craigslist listings that say things like must love dogs or must love cats. Remember, that was the title of a movie. Must love dogs. No. <laughs> Even people who love dogs may not love your dog and may not love your dog being in bed with you. Can you relate to this? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show, 
with shorter commercial breaks than ever before. I like it. You like it? I like it. 1-800-5-800. I had to pee quickly, though. So I can race back down the hall. By the way, there's not a radio studio in the world located anywhere near the bathroom. Just uh, a problem. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right, what is it with women who value their animals over you? Say hello here to uh, Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Eric. Uh, well, I got a story to tell. Uh, I was uh, in high school with this girl. She had a cat. I didn't know I was allergic at the time. Uh, we were messing around on the couch, and about 45 minutes into it, I just break out in hives. I mean, I got scared, man. It, it really spooked me out. All that, all those girls who give their, dog, give their animals human names like Lewis and uh, Henry and... I don't know, man. They don't sound like, uh, something's not right upstairs. A few beers short of a six-pack. I think those women actually want to have children. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, but man. They, the first ones to They're the ones that trick you. Yeah, these are the ones who, yeah. who haven't, uh, haven't had children, haven't met the right guy to have children with. And yeah. so they populate their home with animals. That they and, treat uh, like children. And, but you know what? When it comes down to it, they won't stay with that animal. My cousin. An eagle, believe it or not, came down, took the eye out of the dog. The dog was okay; he just lost an eye, and because it wasn't uh, attractive, oh no way, she could she couldn't live with it. She gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> Drives me crazy. They they just drive me crazy. Stephen, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Dad? How are we doing? Doing okay, son. Good, good. Hey, just had a quick story for you. Had an ex that uh, always let her little sheet to sleep in the bed. Uh, always licking the crap out of me every night while I'm trying to sleep. It's like a little annoying gnat flying around you, waking you up. Uh, eventually, I got completely sick of it, told her to let her dog sleep out outside the room, and she flipped a lid. She flipped out. And was pretty much saying that she would rather her dog sleep in the bed than have me come over and stay. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> so I had to get rid of that one. And uh, listening to your theories, I'm glad. I'm actually pretty rich right now because of you. Because, uh, of course, never spent more than $40 on a date. Didn't go out and spend money on this whore. And I'm doing good now. I love it. Love you, Dad. <laughs> Son, thank you so much for the call. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to, um, my goodness, uh, this is David on the Tom Likas Show. How you doing, Father? Thanks for the call. Okay, son. Did I call you? Uh, no, sir. I'm calling you. Ah, I'm okay. You, I, you never know. Dean might have placed a call for me. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, um, when I was uh, about six years ago living with a girl, she had a cat, and uh, we were actually in the middle of making a homemade video, and the cat jumps on the bed and pretty much kills the entire mood. And uh, it was pretty much... A, a ridiculous thing out there on out. Every time, you know, the cat would interrupt. It was, uh, you know, pretty annoying. That's very annoying. So what did you tell her? Well, I just, that pretty, I mean, it's obviously I'm not with her now. It's just like there was a lot of priorities uh, that came before, especially with the cat. Other things, you know, it just, that just didn't last long. Did she have a problem with your opinion? Um, of course. I mean. I mean, what did she say to you when you complained? It's her child. It's, it's her, her, her. That's her child. Her child. Yeah, that's the that's the explanation. It's her child. That's unbelievable. She, yeah, exactly. So yikes! So when you broke up with her, did you tell her that was the reason? Um, no, actually, there was a look a few more reasons other than that. Uh, other than you know, just that, but just that, things adding up. You know, it just didn't work out. I had to cut the losses on that one. Wow. Unbelievable. Nicole on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Um, so I've been listening to you for a long time. It's my first time calling in. And I disagree with you to a certain extent. To a certain extent. Yeah. I don't I think there's an extreme when you have a pets or one pet and people forget that they are pets, but I think they're a good tool to meet people also. 
I never said they weren't. I, I don't understand then what, what your biggest complaint is about it. My then. biggest complaint is when the dogs come to bed with you. Okay, so my dog sleeps in my bed with me. Well, not if I'm in bed with you. <laughs> I've had many people in my bed, and they sleep with my dog as well. And well, they're they're fools. Well, yeah, but by the way, so in other words, you, you you keep having new guys in your life. Uh, does that mean all the guys are satisfied with the dog sleeping in your bed? Uh, no one's ever complained about it. They all love her. And Where are they now? A lot of them have dogs. Where are the other guys now? Um, most of them I stopped dating for my reasons. Mm hmm. Yep, any man, right now, any man who tolerates guy, any man I'm, who tolerates that is a pussy. Any what? Any man who tolerates that is a complete pussy. Really? <laughs> of course. Okay. I don't, I don't mind you having way. a dog. I, I don't love. Date pussies. By the way, I yeah you do. I love dogs. Love okay. them. Okay. And mm -hmm. if your dog sleeps in your bed when I'm not around, I'm fine with that. Okay. But I am not sleeping with your dog. What's the problem with sleeping with when the dog? When I'm at the your bed? place, I'm I'm there to be with you. Not you and the dog. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. No, uh, I, I, I get that. Everyone's entitled. You know, I can see your viewpoint, too. I'm just saying it hasn't ever been a problem for me. That's because you date pussies. Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hey, you know what? I never knew that cats drink your water at night on the nightstand. <laughs> I didn't know that. Hey, while you're sleeping, they drink your water. My wife had two cats, and um, they're they're long gone now. You know, bless their little effing souls, but they're gone now. But they drink your water at night. Those cats lick their butts. They lick themselves. I never. Knew, they I lick. E up, they lick each other. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up in the morning. I saw this cat drinking my water. I was. I was. I was through. I was totally through. And I told my wife when we got married. No more cats in the bed. Can we move in together? No, they stay out of the room because and uh, she spent she she saved a lot of money on, on freaking tape rollers, man. Wow, I hate that. Did did you end up splitting up over it? Oh no 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 no. And uh, uh, surely but surely we got rid of one at a time. You know. Wow. But that that's it, Tom. Blow me up, Tom. <laughs> Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Will on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How's it going? Great. Well, anyways, about a year ago, okay, I'm dating this girl. First time back to her house. We start to get it on. Start to have fun. You know what I mean? And this, her little lap dog. This... All right, blow me up, buddy. Here you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number here. Bob on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, what's going on? I'm doing okay, Bob. All right, all right. You got to hear this situation right here. I meet this girl, right? She's like, "Hey, let's go out and do some stuff." I'm like, "Great." We go out, you know, have dinner. She goes, "Let's go back to my house." I said, "All right, no problem." We end up going back to her house. We go to her room. She introduces me to her little mutt. Her little mutt just sitting there up on the bed, just staring me down. I'm like, "Okay." All of a sudden. While we're sitting there, I smelled a stench, this just nasty stench. And I was like, did this girl just rip ass like right here while I'm sitting with her? <laughs> <laughs> so I, so, yeah, exactly. So I didn't know what to blame it on. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, because I can't believe that little dot could cause that much damage. Sure enough, I kind of walk out, you know, I kind of walk back in. I'm like, hey, did, did, you, uh, did you just rip ass? She's like, no, my dog's got a bad stomach problem. And, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and he likes to, uh, you know, he likes to just let loose whenever he feels like it. There's, you know? certain, there's certain things that dogs eat uh, besides insects and other people's vomit out on the street. There's certain things that dogs eat, I'm convinced, causes that problem, like rawhide bones. Uh-huh. Uh, come on. How does that not give a dog gas? That, that, I don't know. All I know is I was just trying to get my sex on. And I can't do it with the smell of, you know, <laughs> rotten butt cheeks all over the place, you know? <laughs> and she's, and she's, you know, like, so, so you, know, I, you know, I said, okay, that's fine. No, blame it on the dog, whatever. 
You know, so we started, you know, we started trying to make out, you know, the music's going and stuff, you know, and then before you know it, I'm like, God, that smell. Can you please kick your dog out, you know, for the time, you know? And she's just like, excuse me? She's like, I've only known you for one day, and I've known him my whole life, so I'm sorry. That's not going to work. I said, well, then thank you. Have a nice day. I just took off. Unbelievable. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. Um, yeah, you know, I've been dating chicks for years now, and I've noticed a pattern. And it usually starts in their late 20s. They can't find a guy. So they get a pet, and then that pet gives them unconditional love so they can gain 30 pounds and the dog still likes them. But they can act like, a, you know, a, a, a raging crazy, and the cat will still, you know, let them pet them. And the next thing you know, these chicks are so used to dealing with dogs and cats that when they start dating a real man, they start treating the guy like he's some type of pet and is supposed to do whatever they want or whatever they say. So that's why they can't even get a guy anymore. Well, that uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, I've seen that. By the way, that also, uh, the, the gaining weight thing, that explains why all the cat women are all wearing sweaters. Women are under this um, this insane notion that uh, wearing a sweater will somehow cover the rolls of fat. Ever notice that? Oh, yeah. Hot, chicks, hot chicks don't wear sweaters. But they do that the alley thing and wear some type of long sweater that's open. Or they, the, the best is when they tie their sweater around that big fat ass, uh, making you think it's just, it's like a coat hanger or something. And they gotta stay warm for those pets, I guess. But when in reality, they're trying to cover the big fat ass. <laughs> yeah, if they just lost some weight and just stopped treating uh, guys like they think they're pets, they might do better. I think you're right, Anthony. Thank you for the call. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show with 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Talk about these chicks who put their animals ahead of people. Alan, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? I'm doing okay. Good. Hey, so I had this one-night stand once with uh, this chick, and she had two dogs and, like, four cats, and she claimed that her house is haunted and that she can summon ghosts from the dead. And uh, so we're, we're in her place, and we're, we're fooling around, and all the animals are on the bed. She said that the ghosts, were always around, but I couldn't see them. So I, you know, I'm just assuming they're there. But all the animals are in the bed. They're getting in the way, and it was terrible. So, you know, I kept kicking them off, and finally they got off and all. But what I learned by accident is something that everybody should do, is I accidentally left her front door open. And over the night, all of her cats escaped. <laughs> I woke up in the morning with her bawling her eyes out outside yelling for her cats, telling them to come home. Did they ever come home? Um, I would imagine. I don't know. I, I went back inside, started putting on my shoes, and I booked. And I walked out of there so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I do. Wendy, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, sir. I am laughing so hard right now, I had to pull over. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, I am a uh, veterinary technician. I'm an animal nurse, and everything you're saying is so true. Like the guys calling in and saying, you know, they're naming them people names and doing all this stuff. In my household, my husband and I both work with animals. I have two two dogs. They're only allowed on the bed if one of us is out of the bed. So then, if we're sleeping together, no dogs on the bed. There's always been a rule: no dogs on the bed. So I guess that's why I keep my husband around. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I, I, when I was younger and single, yeah, my dog slept in the bed. But if I had a guy over, nope, they were on their own bed on the floor. Those were the rules. I'm the one in charge. And then they let the dog sleep on the bed, especially in between you and your husband or boyfriend. The dog is in charge. And yeah, I feel so bad for those guys who are like, yeah, they put on the bed. I'd be like, no, not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And I love your show. I just started listening like the last, oh, God, month. 
And I'm just, I laugh every time I listen to you. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. All right. Have a good day. You too. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Andre on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's going great. I uh, just got a call because this topic is just so, it's hitting home for me. Um, in high school, about my senior year, I was hooking up with this chick. And, you know, she was pretty crazy. And she had this. She had this gnarly red nose pit bull. This guy was yoked. Like this, she didn't have no fluffy dog, dude. This guy was huge. And like every time we'd go back to my place and do something, she always, you know, made sure it was at my place. It was never at her house. It was never like around the vicinity of her home. So one time her parents are gone, so we go to the house and I meet this pit bull. And this guy just staring me up and down. So we go in her room, we lock the door, and we start going at it. And this dog is slamming on the door with his head, with his paws, scratching at it with, like, all his might. And she just, you know, doesn't really care. She's like, go ahead, just keep going. So whatever, you know, I'm ignoring it. We open up the door. This dog lunges at me. This dog bit me right square on my butt, dude. And I still, to this day, have marks on my butt, actual scars from where this dog bit me. Oh, my God. And she thought it was the cutest thing in the world. Like, Isn't oh. it cute? He's She's protecting like, oh, me! I could not believe it, Tom. If this girl with this gnarly dog would put me in that kind of jeopardy, you know, I'm a stallion. I shouldn't be having to fight a pit bull for this girl. And to that day, man, to this day, I don't go anywhere near pit bulls and females. Just wow. does not happen. Unbelievable. And what kind of chicks own pit bulls? I, seriously, what... What kind, what kind of trailer trashers, what kind of cholas own <laughs> you know, Tom, what's crazy is, Tom, this, this girl is actually from, like, a very upscale neighborhood, you know, really? from, like, a bit, from where I live, and, like, she comes from a very preppy household, but for some reason, they had a pit bull, and this guy was just, they call, his name was Adolf. That's what his name was, Adolf. <laughs> That's got to tell you something. <laughs> Telling me. <laughs> but I just want to say thanks a lot for putting me on my hand, Tom. You're awesome. Have a great afternoon, man. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to um, well, Virginia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Virginia. It's not only women who do this. It's men, too. Who do what? <laughs> so in love with their pets that they like you know they care more about their pets than they do about their women sometimes well the point is it's one thing to like your dog because i love dogs uh, it's another thing to let the dog stay in bed with you even if the other person objects my fiance used to do that he used to like the dog would always be in our room always and i'm i like dogs but they're like they belong outside not in the house you know, and he would always, always want the dog in the in the house. Why did no you Why what. did you tolerate it? I didn't. The dogs are out now. It took me a while to get him to stop doing that. And does he still bring it up to you? Well, he brings it up like to make me feel guilty. Like, oh, the dogs. It's cold outside, and they need to be in the house. No, they don't. They belong outside. You want to walk them, walk them. And that's By the it. way, I also don't agree with that. What's the point of having dogs if you got to keep them outside? Well, you know what? The kids go out, they play with them when we're out in the yard. We're not in the house 24 7 either. But, I mean, nobody wants to take responsibility for these dogs when they're in the house, anyways. So, I mean, if I'm going to argue with the kids or with him to pick up their poop, then, um, you know what? They need to be outside. <sighs> God, I hate that stuff. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Diane on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, how's it? So far, so good. Good. Well, I have an idea. There, There's a way around this situation about having cats in the house. What is it? Well, there are some of us out there that are breeders and exhibitors of cats or dogs. And generally, we have these fantastic catteries, which we design and build within the house. Cattery? Isn't that where prostitutes work, a cattery? <laughs> Actually, it could be, but there is also a cattery for cats. I see. <laughs> and in the cattery, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars to design the right way, it's usually in your basement if you have one. And there's a room for the kings, and there's a room for the queens, and uh -huh. that's it. You're upstairs, they're downstairs. 
Well, I imagine if you're breeding them, you don't want to get too close to them anyway, because then how do you ever sell them off? Well, I mean, you learn how to work with that. And if you're, if you're a real reputable breeder, you're selling them off to other exhibitors who are going to carry the lines. Right. So I would imagine you uh, wouldn't want them in your bed. You wouldn't want to get that close to them. Oh, because... no, 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 absolutely not. A cattery is designed for that reason. Yeah. They have everything they need. Yeah. Most of the people we're talking about are not professionals. These are just people who... Right. These are women who uh, would like to be married and have a child uh, or two, and they don't. So they adopt pets and give them human names and then treat them like adults. I understand. But if, if a man is lucky enough to find a woman that has a cattery or a kennel, then he's got it made. He's got it made. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Diane. <laughs> nice talking to you. Thanks for the call. Tom Like It. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Like It Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Like It Show... 1-800-5-800-JOM. That's our telephone number. And we're talking about these chicks who have... They, they don't have children. They have pets. And they put the pets ahead of you. Joshua. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much. Well, man, I just wanted to talk to you about my, uh, my girlfriend. She's got two dogs. It's, um... We well, you know those, those little furry things, the annoying ones like the bark at everything. I think the Maltese and the Shih Tzu. Those things are out of hand. She loves those things like, like his, as if they were like her little brothers. Let me tell you, man. I don't understand what it is with her and all these other girls that come dogs that just. I mean, let them do whatever the hell they want. I mean, what's the point of having a dog if you're gonna call them and they don't they don't come to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, she'll be calling her, calling the dog all the time. Fifi, Fifi. Yeah, her name is Fifi. Fifi, come over here. Well, you the know what? Part. You know what's interesting? Uh, women find this, not all women, because there are some women who are dog people. Yeah. But, you know, dogs, dogs like, I, by the way, I love dogs and I have owned dogs. Dogs yeah, yeah. like to please you. Dogs yeah. like you to tell them to sit. They like being told what to do, and then they like seeing that they pleased you by doing what you told them. Yeah, and, yeah. We, we, but dogs, sorry. dogs don't speak English. Okay, dogs understand guttural sounds. They understand the word no. And if you tell yeah. a dog no, and the dog has been trained that what no means, uh, it's very effective. But I can't tell you how many women I've known with dogs. Yeah, and they the say, Fluffy, now remember, we talked about that, that you're not supposed to be on the sofa. It's like, you're trying to reason with a dog. It's a dog. Let me tell you, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Remember, <laughs> remember we talked about this. Remember I told you not, not to go inside the house. You're supposed to go outside the house. Why are you bothering to have this conversation? This is an animal. The thing is, Tom, look it. I had a dog. It was a lab. I love him. You know, those things are smart. My dad, my dad treated him as if it was one of us, which means if it added, it acted up, it's going to get smacked around, you know? So that thing, dude, it was the best dog ever. Listen to everything. We didn't have to potty train him or house train him. We, you know, it automatically knew not to do it because that, that thing's going to get a beating. He did it one time, and that was the last. Wow. I mean, it, all, it also it depends on how you, you know, I'm a, I'm a, Hispa I'm a Hispanic well, you know, I don't know. All, the, all your Hispanic listeners know what know what I'm talking about. They all have their dad, all little little old man, but and you got and with big dogs, and you know those big dogs will do whatever the hell the dad t says. Those dogs are scared crapless. Yeah, it's, it's the little it's the it's little dogs that don't obey. The, the little dogs are less likely to obey, but they are never going to obey when a woman is going. Now come here, uh, uh, come here, uh, girl, come yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, remember, exactly. remember, uh, we we were talking about going out for a walk. Would you like to go out for a walk? How about in ten minutes after I make a cup of tea? They, they have conversations with them. You should see me. You should see me when when I'm alone with those dogs and they start jumping on me. As soon as my girlfriend leaves the room. Dude, those things go flying across the room. Yeah. They're on my leg. They want to hug my leg? Nope, I don't think so. I just kick them across. Do you know how many times I've been with a woman and she says, I can't believe he listens to you. He uh, doesn't listen to me like that. 
she has she uh, she wonders why little Fifi doesn't crawl up on my leg all the time. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just I just wanted to let you know about that story that I have for you. Um, pick me out, Bill O'Reilly stuff, can you? Yes, yes, I can. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Do it live! I can all write it and we'll do it live! Fing thing sucks! It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Blake on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much. Alright, so, uh, right off the bat, it was one of these girls who says, you know, I'm not gonna have sex on the first date. Well, of course, she ends up being a freak. So, uh, she has two dogs, a little wiener dog and a big lab. And they're so annoying, they bark at anything. And normally when we go back to her place and we have sex, she locks the dogs up. Well, one night, it was around midnight, 1230, she says, screw it, I'm not going to lock the dogs up. I'm not going to lock them up. They're fine. So we start going at it. Well, the dogs keep bugging us while we're in the middle of it, smelling my butt and everything. <laughs> and I tell her, I tell her, look, I can't concentrate. You're going to have to do something about these dogs. And she just wraps her arms around me and says, no, keep going, keep going. And I said, look, lock them up or you're not going to like what happens. And so she said, no, they're fine. So I went ahead and finished, rolled over and went to sleep. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> you had to train her like a dog. Tell you what, man. She locked those dogs up every time after that. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Cat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Pretty good. I a couple of things if you'll let me. Um, number one, I'm a pit bull owner. <laughs> um, uh, an owner of two pit bull mixes. They're boxer pit. Not crazy. I'm not spastic. I'm not the chola. I don't use them for protection. They're just dogs. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was I actually really agree with you on this, and I usually don't, but I broke up with a guy when I was 18 because of how obsessed he was with his cat. <laughs> and <laughs> Unfortunately, even though my name is Cat, I'm allergic to them. And he would refuse to take them out of the bedroom. And he'd let them sleep on his pillows, and he'd let them sleep in the house. And if they were in the house, that was fine. But if they got on the bed where we would, you know, have sex, it would get in my face and the cat hair, and it would make me, you know, make my face swell up. So I told him it's either me or the cat. Put the cats away. Keep them out of your bedroom. And we stopped hanging out. And we stopped hanging out because he wouldn't get rid of the cats. But... Thank God, because the guy turned out to be really dumb, and I think he still works at the hot dog stand at Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually really saved me <laughs> that he was so obsessed with his cat. But I do, you know, oddly enough, um, agree with you, because women are crazy about their dogs. You know, I have two dogs, and I love them to death, and I would not trade them for anything, but I also understand that they're dogs. You know, that you can't have a conversation with the dog because it doesn't talk back. You have to tell it what to do. I think these women imagine the answers. And because um, I, I see, a, here's a question people ask dogs all the time. Do you like your food? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? It's like, like the dog can't speak. Well, that's it. But the, the funny thing is, you know, I, I'm recent, you know, I'm married now. And the funny thing is, is my, my husband and I decided to get dogs because I was having an urge to have kids and we both knew it was way too early. So I wanted, you know, of course, I needed something to take care of. And the, the trick is, if you get your girlfriend two dogs at the same time, they'll be so pissed off about the dogs everywhere that they won't even want to deal with kids after that because it turned me off to kids for at least three or four years. Oh, my God. Cat, thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Jeff on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jeff. I, uh, you know, I don't have a big problem with the women who have like the small dogs that sleep at the foot of the bed, but there are these women that have like the big breed of dogs that will actually sleep inside the bed under the covers, and that to me is just that's crossing a line. Because, oh, yeah. you know, after sex, it's bad enough if you have to, like, cuddle with the woman. I don't want to have to cuddle with her dog, too. Have you ever had a dog uh, try to lick the wet spot? Um, <laughs> no, fortunately, I, I have not. I have seen that. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty disgusting. Because dogs will put anything in their mouth. Yeah, and you know... Here's another one, one. here's sleeping, another one. Do you use condoms? It, do I use condoms? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so after you've had sex, you have to get up to a little housekeeping. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
ever stood up and had the dog jump up and try to uh, take the condom? Uh, no, but that uh, that could be useful, like a dog bringing in the <laughs> paper, just have them take out the condom. Except they eat it. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's just wrong. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Tom, I just wanted to I just wanted to mention that. Blow me up with a biatch. Okay, Jeff. Uh, we're going to find it for you, and we're going to play it for you right now. Biatch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. I have less than a minute left. Let's take Michelle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a yeah. statement? Oh, hi, Mich uh, hi uh, Tom. I'm great. Uh Okay, I, I just I wanted to call you for many times, and because I have a private caller, I understand that I have to do star 82 in order to get me, you know. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very, like, I, I have been listening for a while, and my husband was shocked that I was listening to you. I'll bet. Yes, I said, you know, I like him. You're very smart and uh, very witty. I like that. And uh, today, I like to, by the way, about the, the politics stuff, you were talking about mm -hmm. it was beautiful. It was very nice. I was thank you. To that it was very. Uh, I was very impressed. Thank you. And about animals, the first thing when I came to America, I was so shocked how I mean in France too they are crazy about the, their animals. But uh, it's like how uh, animals have they become humans. Well, yes, they have. Uh, what a shame! It took so long. The Tom Likas show.